Now, where is that three position switch with momentary for a wench on the 7PXR? We can search the menu. We can search the linkage. We can search the receiver. No, not there. Sub trim. No, can't do that one. Channel acceleration fail safe endpoint. No, none of those. Uh, dial select. No, although we could probably do a three position switch here. However, it's not what we're looking for. Well, in any case, while we look around for this three position switch with momentary on the 7PXR, today we're going to cover how to set up a winch on a rig using a channel for the winch and using a function called conditions on this transmitter. In the past, I have set this transmitter up with two channels to control a winch. One channel for the winch and one channel for direction, whether either winch in or winch out. I'm going to eliminate one of these channels today. click on the menu button, we're going to click on linkage menu, we're going to click on the bottom left hand arrow and click on condition. This is set to off, we're going to turn it on and we're going to have condition 1 and condition 2. We're going to change the name of condition 1 for winch out, so we're going to click on the BS button, backspace all that way out and we're going to click on, we're going to write the word winch. And we're going to write the word out. And this will help us um, in a couple different ways. We'll know when we click the button, the switch that will be assigned to this, we'll know if it's if we're going to be in the winch out position or the winch in position. Just kind of a helper. And we're going to change condition two. And we're going to change that to winch. So we're going to click on the BS button to wipe all that out. And we're going to type in winch. And we're going to type in in. Click on condition name to go back to the page. And now we're going to assign a switch to this. Click on switch select. And now we're at the switch select section. And we're going to click on PS2. PS2 is the switch that's directly on the handle. We're going to click on condition 1, 2. And we're going to change NOR to ALT. ALT will help us keep the position we want for either winch out or winch in. So if I click the PS2 button, it will change to winch in and I let go. We're still on winch in that direction. And then if I click it again, it will change direction for winch out. Now we need to program the winch. So we're gonna hit click on switch select. We're gonna click on, click on condition. We're gonna click on linkage menu. Mixing menu and program mixing, and we're going to click on program mixing one. And now we're going to go in and turn this on. We're going to go to one, two, turn the mixing on. We're going to change steering to channel four, which is where our switches or winch is at. And we're going to change throttle to channel four. And we're going to turn on the mix mode. We're going to turn on the trim mode. Click on two, two to go back a page. Now we're going to assign the speed of the winch for winch out. So click on offset, click on the plus sign to go to positive 100. This will be the fastest for this current configuration. Now we're gonna to need to set up for a winch in. So click on the PS2 button one time and let go. And we're gonna go into winch in. So now we need to turn this on. Mixing's on, change the steering to channel four, which is where our winch is at. Slave is gonna be channel four and the mixing mode on and the trim mode on. 
Now click 2-2 two, two to go back one page and we're going to set the speed for our wrench in. Click on offset and change it to whatever you want. I'm changing 9 to negative 30. It can be whatever you want for speed. It can be a negative 100, it can be a negative 50, it could be negative 2, it doesn't really matter. And now we will click the PS2 button again to go to wrench out and you'll see that there's changes. Wrench in, wrench out. Now let's go and program a switch for this. So we'll click on program mixing one, program mixing, mixing menu, and now we're gonna go into linkage menu. Click on the arrow at the bottom left one time, click on switch select. We're gonna go to PS1. PS1 is a switch directly under the steering wheel. Click on the right arrow one time, click on program mixing one, and now we are set up for a switch for our winch. So let's go back and taste, test this. So click on switch select, linkage menu, menu. this just on the main page without the without our rig turned on so we're gonna have we're gonna test our switch right so hit PS2 one time let go it says winch in Hit PS2 again one time and it says winch out now we're going to test the winch out and we're gonna hold the PS1 and I'll show you that there's a blue line here in channel 4 it says currently on if I let go it's gonna turn off if I hold it again, it'll stay on until I let go again, turn off. Click on PS2 to go to winch in. I'm gonna hold it, it stays on. And I'll have a blue, a little blue light going to the, to the left. And if I let go, it turns off. If I click it again, it turns on. If I let go, it turns off. This is called momentary. So when I select the button and hold it, it'll stay on until I let go of the button. And then that will mean it will shut off immediately when I let go. This is what we want. We want the, the winch to spool in. And if we let go, while the line is still attached to something, we want it to stop immediately. We don't want to have to click a couple buttons to get it to stop. So this is what, we're, this is what we've done. And with this configuration, we eliminated that second channel. test the truck. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to turn the truck on. Let that turn on. Now we're currently in, we want the winch out. So we're going to click our PS2 button to get to winch out. And now I'm going to press the button, the PS1 button underneath the steering wheel. And I'm going to pull out the winch. And I let go of the button, it immediately stopped. Now let's do a winch in. So when I winch in, I'm going to hold the button. And I'm going to hit, let go of the button and it'll stop. Winch out, I'm going to hold the button. And then let go. And it's going to stop. Winch in, I'm going to hold the button. I'm going to let go of the button. And it stops. And notice that this is not going in as fast as it came out. That's because we set it to a negative 30 for the winch. Now that we set up the winch on the 7PXR, we are good to go. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you have not already. And have a good day. We'll catch you on the next one.